sorry, my jaw is on the floor. I cannot believe the sound of this car. This is insane. <laughs> so I don't really know how to start these vlogs. I'm still getting used to it. So all I'm going to say is, what's up, guys? It's, it's Super, Super Blondie. Blondie. Super Car Blondie. Yeah, but it sounds easy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, it's Blondie. <laughs> it's fun. How's it going? We have still got the G-Wagon 4x4 squared. Nice, get out of the way. <laughs> Check it out. I know, I'm constantly uh, blocking cars. That's yeah. kind of my job. Show them what you do when you open it. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Honestly, you need this step. That's so cool. If you don't have this step, look at how you have to get in. Wait, if you don't have this step, Nice. Today, I don't know exactly what's happening, but we're driving from Bern to Geneva, which will take... You're in the shot now, are you happy? Yep. Yeah. We're going to Geneva, and we're going to drive some crazy cars. Move out a bit. All right. So today, we're going to go to Geneva, and all I know is, is that we're going to be driving some incredible cars. That's what I just said. <laughs> I have heard whispers of Aston Martin, and also of Pagani. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at this beautiful weather today. Beautiful. beautiful. You see that sign? I swear none of the road signs in Switzerland make any sense. So 100 with a cross through it actually means you can drive 120. Who would know? Electric is a parking place for an electric vehicle and it's the only parking place that's gonna fit this car. Everything else is too small run before anyone sees us. So we are just about to get to Neil, where we're gonna go visit the Prestige Motor Group and they have some amazing cars. Aston Martin is really at the top of the list. That's what we wanna go and see there. They've got a DB11, they've got DB5, they've got classics and newer cars as well. So I suppose we'll just have to see what they have when we get there. And the Vanquish. And the a Vanquish, Vanquish yeah. We're gonna be driving the Vanquish S and the uh, DB11. Uh, neither of those I've driven before, so I'm excited about that. So that's our first stop, and then we've got another stop after that, which is gonna be awesome. Ooh, look at all Whoa. these Whoa! 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 It's like a smorgasbord of Aston's. <laughs> okay, let's go say hi to these guys. Yeah. Hello! How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. So nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. I can't believe how many cars you have. <laughs> Quite a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Amazing fleet. Yeah, my goodness. Why do you have so many? Look at this color. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So what makes what makes it so uh, expensive? 19 cars. 19. 19. In the world? Yes. Left hand drive, 19 cars. That's it. How cool is this? Imagine cruising down Dubai Highway in one of these. This would stand out like nothing else. And you'd be so James Bond. <laughs> I've got the $2 million key. Look how tiny it is. Tiny. Oh, easy. Okay, so we've just been told that the Vanquish S is the best sounding car on the market. I said that's a big statement. So he said, listen to it. Some weight behind those words. Which one do you want to start with? Ooh, choices. B11. 
Vanquish S. Okay, let's go with the Vanquish S for now and then we'll swap over. <laughs> How lucky am I? <laughs> These are big seats. This is something I really like about Aston Martins, the key. The fact that it is, uh, it's a key that it's not a turnable key, right? But in a lot of other cars, you just have to leave the key somewhere and press the start button. In this one, you should put the key into the car. And that's what starts it up. And I quite like that because it means the key doesn't get lost in the car somewhere when you're driving. Let's go. Sound ever. Wow! Right? I'm so impressed! Yes! I, I would say you have completely blown my mind with the sound of this car. I, d I had no idea how amazing it sounded. Okay, now I'm going to drive the DB11 and see how it compares, how it feels, the difference. So they're both V12s? Yeah, so both V12s. This one is naturally aspirated, it has just over 600 horsepower, and you can hear it. The, is just incredible. So this one has is a twin turbo so you're obviously going to hear a little bit of a difference in the engine um, and what horsepower does this one have guys? Just over 600. Just over 600 as well? Yeah. So both have just over 600? Yep. Oh, okay so there's not much difference when it comes to the horsepower. This one you just keep with you so you don't you don't put this one in it's got the start button here. Is this one, this one isn't as low as the Vanquish S, this one's a bit higher up? A bit higher, a yeah, bit. yeah, and um, the bumper is made different, and um, yeah, the, the spoiler especially is higher. So where is the sports button? It's here? So here, yeah, this is for the engine, so yep. GT, Sport and Sport Plus. Okay. And this is for the chassis and the swing wheel. Yeah. So. back in the 4x4 squared. I had such an amazing time driving those cars. I was asking Benoit about Rolls-Royce because I had Rolls-Royce there as well. I said, what's the age group now of Rolls-Royce, you know, buying? And he said, it's come down drastically. Now they sell to between 15 year olds and 75 year olds. I said, 15 year olds? No way. 
they said, yeah, yeah, we just had uh, some people fly over from the Middle East and buy their 15 year old son a Rolls Royce. I would love to have a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But to own a Rolls Royce at 15 years old, I feel like you've, there's nowhere to go from there. How does life get better? You need to look forward to something, don't you? If you had a Rolls Royce at 15, basically everything's just gonna go downhill from there. Where did we arrive? We've just arrived at Karogati Automobiles. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but um, this is where we're going to be looking and driving up a car. Sorry, I feel like I need to whisper because that is just insane. Oh my God. I've only ever seen one Pagani in my whole life and I'm about to go and get in one. So we've seen the Ford GT and the Pagani is inside and hopefully I'm gonna be able to drive it. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is an amazing place. How are you, Alex? So what's your favorite car in here? <laughs> Here in Mr. Dino, yeah. the, the, the Dino. The Dino. Can you show us? Dino, Ferrari, Dino. appreciate what we're seeing. This is insane. <laughs> wow. Come look at this. <laughs> oh, little Fiat, we crocodile it oh, How funny. I have a little pill. <laughs> Damn. Oh my goodness. A normal one, I would think it's around about 10,000, 10, 12,000 yeah. in good shape. This one, the customers can like the 45,000 euros. Yeah. So it costs about 10,000 and you put 40,000 on top of that. Okay, he's just showing us a little secret part. All the code's gone in, that's when you know it's special. It's a good one. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> if, Whoa, you, if you hello. like to smoke. Oh, of course, cigar one. Oh, oh. see. Holy moly. You know how to sell cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Right, you're a happy boy, huh? <laughs> I just said, can I drive the um, Zonda F? He said, uh, yeah, why not? How Let's much go does it go for? Three and a half million. That one Euros. Point. Euros. Yeah. Um, and it's, I, I don't know what to think, honestly. It's, I've only even seen a Pagani once in my life and now I can drive it. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm trying to like not explode. I'm exploding from the inside, but I just need to keep my cool a little bit. <laughs> now, I'm, this is the first time I'm driving Ghani, so no one panic. No. <laughs> How do you turn it on? <laughs> Very easy. Turn, put the key. Turn. Brake with with the clutch down. Mm, you don't need to have. Don't the need the clutch. Down. It's no. in neutral. Neutral. Okay. okay. And then you press the start button. Ah. back to burn now uh, ah! I have had the most incredible day it doesn't get better than this does it I drove the brand new Aston Martin DB11 the brand new Vanquish S 
and then to top it all off, the Pagani Zonda F. Just in one day, just in the last few hours. Thank you so much for watching. That is the end of this vlog. We are now driving back to Bern from Geneva. A few more days in Switzerland, but I think, you know what? Today was probably the best day out of the whole holiday. That's it. Catch you guys. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and like the video. Bye. And we'll catch you on the next vlog. Likely back in Dubai with some more cars and some more things happening there.